Well, it is currently the 27th going into the 28th of May 2013, and we are continuing to watch this area in the Bay of Bengal now being dubbed Invest 94BB for Bay of Bengal. The Indian Meteorology Department is calling it pressure area and as we can see on this uh, satellite picture it actually is gaining some organization here as we look at the last frame in the loop and uh, center circulation is right here off towards the north but the main threat with this is that there is just an abundant amount of moisture down here towards the south and that's going to push on shore here across portions of Miramar remember that one area where the refugee camp actually right there we can see it on this satellite loop believe it or not, as we go back into the night shot, the near infrared picks up the lights from some of those refugee camps and also a city raid in this area. So uh, it does show this, and, and actually if you look a little bit farther down there towards the south, that's Bangkok right in there. So just shows you that the extent of some of our satellite pictures, but as we loop this through, you can see that moisture pushing near the coastline. So this is going to be creating some heavy rainfall. Of course, about 150 to 200 millimeters of rain coming around this area. Very dry to the northwest, but uh, it's just a small pocket rain in here and that's about it actually Chennai you saw temperatures upwards of 46 degrees today I believe and that's the warmest apparently in six years so heating up and that's gonna allow for more moisture to be held into the atmosphere and so even here in the water vapor imagery you can see that center of circulation this is definitely a low pressure area and uh, my thoughts it's becoming more organized now the saving grace for people near the coastlines here is that it is very very close to the coast and really it doesn't have too much time to become organized on that note some of the models are being quite bullish on so let's start the strong the gfs model and then we'll talk about the factors playing into this and this model really has a bad situation for the Ganges River Delta because as it spins up here, it's really intensifying. Now this is looking through Tuesday, and you can see these winds kicking up to about 45 to 50 knots. Uh, that's about 60 to 70 kilometers per hour, and then it even continues to intensify. But this is just not a good situation because it would be pushing all this water on shore, plus the moisture coming with it. Pretty decent risk of some severe flooding here uh, where Mahasin struck, and these towns are still recovering from that storm as it pushed through. Well, this particular scenario would be the intensity or the equivalent of intensity of Mahasin as it starts to make landfall here and also the heavy rainfall coming with it. Let's actually switch this up and look at the European model for the exact same time. Now, this is Thursday early morning, and they even have, now not as intense, making a landfall in a similar area, pushing those winds on shore, upwards of tropical storm strength at the very least. I mean, these areas in the yellow uh, are almost quite tropical storm strength. They're almost cyclonic storm strength. If we start to see some oranges pop up like right there, that would indicate, well, that would indicate a cyclonic storm. Just intensity wise but it's nothing different really but the main threat with this storm if it was to develop it further which it really looks like it's going to is going to be the heavy rain now let's pull up the msl from gfs that one model that did show this intensification abundant amount of moisture towards the south that dry pocket in the north that's going to wrap around this as it does push off there towards the north. But it really, it's going to remain drier off here. If you're farther inland in here in India, don't expect a deluge of rain. It's near the coastal areas where we are going to see this come down, especially off here towards Myanmar, uh, southern portions of Bangladesh, and far eastern portions of western India. And as that continues to push on shore, uh, there are some areas here, really, they're going to see upwards about three to 400 millimeters. And that is by the end of the week. But this is just showing the upper level flow. And like I said, there's a high pressure off here towards the east. And that's really one of the reasons why this is buffering. We have another high there towards the west. And this is just going to be sitting right in the middle of these two areas. And slowly lingering, slowly pushing off there towards the west. So if this high remains in place, it's going to follow along the western periphery of that. So likely a landfall right near the India-Bangladesh border. As a weak tropical storm, my thoughts, I think that is extremely plausible. I mean, as we loop this back and forth right now, I mean, believe it or not, it looks like a developing tropical system, at the very least a tropical depression. And with vertical wind shear, right around uh, about 15 to 20 knots under it, and a little bit strong. They are farther towards the south, likely flaring up that convection, but then we just won't pull up the humidity at the same time, and it is just moist over this. Plenty of moisture off there towards the east. The dry spot right in here, that's likely going to help keep this in check. 
But that moisture really outweighing it. So, like I said, my thoughts one more, and I'll draw it here on this water vapor imagery. I'll likely put some of my thoughts on the web page as well, just uh, using a photo there. So just uh, continue to go check that out. But it's right here, likely going to intensify to a weak tropical storm. Not saying that the agencies will pick up on it. What I've noticed in the past is sometimes agencies will not warn on a system this early or this late in the game. But that is just politics. But then pushing on shore right near Bangladesh and western eastern India right in there heavy moisture pushing on here I think there is a fairly significant risk of flooding in some of these low-lying areas so we're going to continue to keep an, a close eye on this throughout the next several days if you are anywhere out here in Chittagong please uh keep us uh, uh, in tune of what's going on here if there are warnings in place for this developing area if not I'll do uh tell your friends and uh let them know there is the risk of some fairly heavy flooding coming here to the next several. And that is not to alarm anybody, and by any means, we are not an official agency here at WesternPacificWeather.com, but we do try our best to inform the public of what's going on out here, especially uh, in places that do not have very many English-speaking broadcasts. So that is our goal, and we hope that you find this update useful. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and as always, uh, stay safe out there.